Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to How to Build. Today we're going to be talking about Rosin Scarhide. If you're only here for artifact and mastery suggestions, I'm putting those on the screen now. So feel free to pause and use those as you will. If you'll notice, I've done uh, each tree of the mastery tree. So basically, definitely use the offense tree. If you want to go a little bit more the clan boss route, go with the defense tree form. If you want to go the uh, basically use them everywhere else route, <laughs> then uh, the support tree is probably going to be the way to go. I'm personally a fan of the support tree myself for the things that I use him for. Um, so if that's all you came for and you feel like you got what you needed, like the video, maybe subscribe on the way out if you want to see what I put out in the future. Uh, and thanks for stopping by. For anybody that wants to stick around, now I'm going to be doing a little bit of an analysis on Rosin. We're going to talk about his stats, his skills, where he's useful, all that fun stuff. So, looking at him, he's a defense champ. He is fusible, and uh, I highly recommend that you grab him if you haven't yet. His base HP is really, really high. His base defense is really, really good. He's got decent base attack for a defense champ, over a thousand. And then his base speed's on the lower end, but it's it hasn't really been that big of a deal, actually. I have not really noticed that he's slower. So, um, pretty solid base stats all around, even though he is a little slow. I have to say, I have not even noticed that he's slow. So, first skill, attacks one enemy three times, has a 20% chance of removing one random buff from the target. So we've got a three hitter, which gives him uh, utility in places like Fire Knight, and clan boss once he's on giant slayer uh, and he will strip a buff so <clears throat> that is that is pretty dead gun handy second skill attacks one enemy has a 75 percent chance of placing a 60 percent defense break and a 25 percent weaken so uh the the two more powerful versions of those debuffs and right out of the gate he's got a 75 percent chance of doing it this is incredibly useful in places where there's bosses it's it's incredibly useful in clan boss it's useful in all the dungeons. It is a really, really strong skill, and uh, it's really useful if you're trying to speed run spiders. You know, if you've got a bunch of cold hearts lying around, uh, he can take care of your defense break and your weaken and really open up the door for your damage dealers to do some heavy damage. So it's a really, really great skill, and right out of the gate, it's got a pretty solid chance to land. So um, as skilled up, it becomes a 100% chance, which means then it's only reliant on accuracy. Uh, it doesn't have to proc, so... Uh, it's a great skill. Third skill, attacks all enemies, decreases the turn meter by 100%. This is wildly powerful. This is this is very, very strong. And in conjunction with a few specific artifact sets we're going to talk about, uh, it, is, it is just ridiculous. And that is the reason that it's on such a big cooldown is because uh, it, it is really a strong skill. And what's really great about it is that it attacks all enemies... Uh, as well. It doesn't just reset turn meter. The fact that it attacks one lets you do damage, two gives you the opportunity to uh, to use some artifact sets that are going to make it a lot stronger. And then, then his aura is resist by 90 in the arena. So it's a, it's a lot of resist. Generally you're not running a resist lead. If you're running a very specific uh, stall aggravating type defense that you want to try to go with, then he might be a good option for the lead because that is a ton of resist. But generally speaking, you're going to be going with a speed lead or something something like that. But again, it definitely has its uses, just a little bit more niche. Um, so an excellent kit. I was surprised when they made him a permanent fusion. I thought he was a little bit too strong to, to be made available based on how Plarium has behaved. <laughs> I thought he was a little bit too strong to make permanently available to everybody, so um, certainly useful. There's really nowhere in the game you can't take him. I think I think that's true. I think that's actually 100% true. He's an excellent clan boss champ. He's an excellent arena champ. He's good in every single dungeon. He's good in the campaign. He's good in faction wars. Uh, he's good in all the potion dungeons. There's really not a single place you can't take this dude and have him be an impactful member of your team. So, uh, as far as some of the artifact sets I was talking about that are going to be useful on him, Lifesteal is going to be a great one if you want to go the clan boss route. Once you get Giant Slayer on this dude, on a Lifesteal set, he's going to keep himself healed, basically. Every time he hits the, the boss, he's going to heal himself back up if he procs Giant Slayer. So, and the fact that he has a three hitter means he's pretty likely to proc it. So, uh, Lifesteal is good for situations like that where you want him to keep himself alive. 
as far as this third skill, like we were talking about earlier, anything that has crowd control elements built into it is going to be really, really strong on this one. Um, a stun set, for example, an AoE 100% turn meter reset with a stun, you're basically locking them up for two turns. You've reset their turn meter to zero, and you've stunned them. So now they have to get through one whole turn stunned, and then a whole nother turn just to get a turn. Uh, you know, stun. Sleep, if you're not using other champs that are doing AoE, a daze set is a, is a reasonable option. I didn't put it on the list, but um, it, it is a, it's a good one to use if you're not using other AoE champs and you want to kind of target the, uh, the wave champs one at a time. Taunting is also not a bad idea here. The good thing about this guy is that he's a defense champ who scales solely on his defense, which means that it, not only are you scaling his damage up, you're also scaling up his ability to take a hit. So this is another reason why he's such a strong champ. So if you put a taunting set on him, he will AoE turn meter reset everybody. And potentially put taunting on a lot of them and then he'll absorb the hits. He, he, he pulls the, the attention away from your squishier champs. So uh, taunting, stun, sleep, anything that has any op opportunity to control the enemies is going to be a really, really good idea. Uh, and then a reflex set. If you wanted to play around with a reflex set, I don't recommend that in clan boss for sure, but um, a reflex set gives him an opportunity to get, to get back down to this skill quicker so that he can reset turn meters again. So that's something to think about. I don't I don't know that I would go that route, but it is certainly an option if you're in a situation where you wanna get that turn meter reset back more frequently. Uh, I, I personally uh, am running him, I don't even think I'm running him on any of the sets I recommended. I'm just running him on whatever gave him the stats I needed him to have, and he's still killing it. He's not, I'm not really benefiting from the sets that I have on him currently. I think he's running a destroy set but that's just because I had the good gear and I needed him to be a certain way for what I was doing with him. But uh, he's, he's a really, really solid champ that you can put on any team, and he he's very useful. He's not wildly hard to build. He needs defense, he needs speed, he needs accuracy. And then if you want some damage out of him, you can go crit rate, crit damage. But uh, he doesn't need a ton. Skill-ups are pretty handy on this guy. It's really nice if you can get this to 100%. Um... You know, and then you can scale his damage up and reduce his cooldown. Skill ups are are nice to have on him, not mandatory. You can see, I don't I don't have mine skilled up at all, and he still does everything I need him to do. So, um, yeah, excellent, excellent champ. Build him, take him everywhere. <laughs> You're gonna love him. If, if you haven't fused him yet, I will go do it. He's a, he's a fantastic champ. So that's gonna wrap it up. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did maybe like the video and if you want to see what I do in the future subscribe I do try to upload most days and a lot of the time it is raid content other than that I hope it was helpful appreciate you watching I'll see you next time